how to debloat the POCO F3R, the Xiaomi Mi 11X without a computer and without root access. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can debloat your POCO F3R, the Xiaomi Mi 11X without root and without a computer so here is the poco f3 miui 12 based on android 11 all the files all the applications which we are using in this video along with all the commands are linked in the description of the video the only thing you need is an active wi-fi connection on your device that's it so once you have that next thing we will do is we will open the file manager application and this of course is an app which is baked in to miui herein we will tap on apks make sure you download both the apks which are linked in the description of the video first one is ladb and the second one is app inspector let us install app inspector first and of course the super secure miui operating system wants you to wait for five seconds tap on accept go back and install the application once app inspector has been installed successfully the next thing we are going to do is we will go back and install l adb now play protect might give you a warning about the application and that is because it is available in the play store but it costs three bucks however with the help of irfan i was able to compile this open source application so we don't have to pay for it and as always the open source code for ladb can be found in the description of this video next thing we need to do is enable developer options so we will go into settings about phone all specs tap on miui version seven times you will get a toast notification that you are now a developer we can now go back to the main page of settings and go into additional settings scroll down developer options over here we need to look for Wi-Fi or wireless debugging. So here it is wireless debugging in the building. So first of all, we are going to enable wireless debugging and on this pop-up select allow, then enable USB debugging as well. Of course, very secure, need to wait for five seconds. Make sure you read the warning, select accept. The next thing we need to do is we need to pair this wireless debugging with the device so that is where ladb comes into the picture so let us go ahead and open ladb it is asking us for port and the pairing code where do you get this information we will have to go back into settings additional settings and developer options over here you will notice that besides wi-fi debugging you do have a toggle but if you tap on the text itself it opens up another menu herein we are going to select pair device with pairing code so this here is our pairing code and the text after the colon is the other part which is required in l adb so we are going to open the recents press and hold on the settings and select the split screen option the second application which we need to select for split screen is of course l adb now as you can see the wireless debugging part changed again so we are going to select pair device with pairing code and as you can see we now have pairing code and we also have the port so the port is the part which is after the colon now just because i might forget let me take a picture of this and then we can enter the information so here it is all the information we need so the port port number is of course the part after the colon so that is four zero and triple seven four zero seven 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 and the pairing code we are looking for is four four two zero six nine and then select ok there it is we just got a notification that wireless debugging was connected and right now it is waiting for the device to be found it might take some time and at this point let us go ahead and exit split screen mode here it is wireless debugging is now connected and you also got a success message next up let us enter a command to check for 
the adb mode is connected successfully or not so the command which i use is get enforce and as you can see we got enforcing this means that wireless debugging is connected without any issues next up let us say we want to remove the clock application so if i press and hold and go into the application information you will see i have the option of uninstall updates i do not have the option of uninstalling the application itself because this is a system app what we need to know is the name of the package so we are going to open app inspector and herein we need to look for the application which we need to debloat in this case clock for starters let us take a screenshot because in case we want to bring it back we do need the package name now if you tap on package name it is going to copy it to the clipboard once that is done we can go back to ladb and herein we need to enter the command which is going to remove this application and the command for that can be of course found in the description of the video and it will show up on your screen as well so the command is pm space uninstall space hyphen k space hyphen hyphen user space and then you need zero space name of the package do note we already copied the name of the package so just press and hold and say paste here it is com dot android dot desk clock check mark got the success and now if you go to your application raw clock application has been removed successfully now what if we want to bring it back for starters let me just reboot my device once to show you peeps that it was in fact removed so we have booted back into miui and as you can see clock application is not there now do note that wireless debugging will get disabled on every reboot so we need to go back into settings additional settings developer options usb debugging is enabled wireless is disabled so enable it select allow next up open l adb one more time it is going to wait for the client to start and the device to be found and there it is wireless debugging connected and once this notification goes away you will see we have a success message as well now what if you want to bring the application back for starters this is where the screenshot comes into the picture so in case you forget the name here it is com.android.desk clock so we are going to open ladb one more time and the command to bring the application back is cmd space package space install hyphen existing and then the name of the package so the name of the package was com.android.desk clock so here it is i did type in com.android.desk clock and then tap the check mark option here it is package was installed for user zero and now if i go back the clock application is in fact back and let us go ahead and reboot the device one more time to make sure that it's not a fake video or it's not a trick which i am playing on you back into me ui we can unlock our device application drawer clock application is now back do note a list of applications which can be removed successfully can be found in the pinned comment on this video and of course in case you remove any application which you should not the only way to fix that might be a factory reset so again be careful with the applications which you do decide to remove and there it is peeps that is how you debloat your poco f3 or the xiaomi mi 11x without a computer and without root access and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.